the Gettysburg School Board votes to retain a transgender tennis coach that the principal got out of there because the transgender coach was walking through locker rooms and bathrooms and it's a male. I mean, what? And then the principal does the right thing and says, hey, we can't have this. And then the school board reinstates the transgender coach who's not followed proper protocol. What is wrong with these people, Senator Mastriano? Madness has set in. I mean, so who is fighting for those girls in the locker room that feel uncomfortable with some guy coming through while they're changing, while they're taking showers? I mean, John, we were even talking about this shows you how low our country has gone. We need people on school boards, as you just advertised for, you know, we the company that's, that's supporting people running school boards. We need common sense, no-nonsense parents to follow the science. You know, John, the same people that were preaching to us two years ago, follow the science, you know, with COVID and all that. Okay, let's go ahead and follow the science exactly. If you're a biological male, have the anatomy and the DNA that make you a guy, no, you can't be in the girls' locker room. And, and this is not only, not just because our girls are uncomfortable, but it endangers them. Well, and the thing is, the principal, I have to commend the the principal of this high school who, who saw the risk and said, you know, yep. we can't have this. And so the the coach gets jettisoned out of there and the school board 6-0 reinstates the guy. So he can now proudly go into women's showers. These are teenage girls. You got a guy going in the shower. I mean, it's just, it's mind-boggling. If this were to be reversed, everybody would be outraged beyond belief. But because it's a transgender issue, all your rights get violated for the greater good or something. I mean, how do these people, how do you, how would you, anybody vote for any of these school board members now? And it just shows you how important these elections are. Actually, two members of the school board voted that they should not have this uh guy who identifies as a female you know back back on the board there back on the team but uh we every election counts from the local all the way up to the federal level to presidential we need people not to give up if you love your country if you want to protect your daughters and granddaughters have to elect people that are actually going to fight for them uh, this is a simple issue here this this should you know go across the gamut john um, left and right come together they know we're going to stand with our girl athletes and not have guys compete with them no, we're going to stand with our girls in the locker room so guys don't watch them get dressed or, or shower, as, you know, and win the middle of the day. Uh, a lot of these girls, you know, I'm talking to girls across the state at least last year when I was running for governor, and a lot of these young ladies don't feel safe in the bathrooms. They have guys coming in the girls' bathrooms, and so, you know, they're, they're hurting themselves physically, not wanting to use John in the middle of the day because a guy might come in there and, you know, potentially cause trouble. We've seen trouble in other states. We saw trouble in Virginia and Loudoun County. And uh, this is coming to a school uh, where you live, unless you have school board members going to fight for you. So, in, if, look, if you have a school board you're not happy with, maybe it's time you run for office yourself there, mom and dad, and your grandma and grandpa, and do something about it.